Hello and welcome back to our Teutonic Order campaign in Mayo and Texas 2.0. Things aren't going so hot, are they? Um, we've lost Zimgale to Lithuania, uh, paying out the arse for war reparations to Poland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going good. So I started a, uh, a single player campaign playing as the Teutonic Order. Uh, just to see what I could have done differently, what I can do maybe in the future in this campaign. Uh, just see, you know, what, what my options are. Uh, so we've got it up to 1403. I'll just load up so you can see what I have done. It went better, let's say, than, uh, than this campaign has. Uh, so when it loads up, we can show you what has happened. Come on, eventually this will happen. Eventually it will load, I promise. So yeah, we got up to 1403, we've had a, a few plagues. We had um, one war against Lithuania, but they were a, um, a secondary partner in the war. It was against uh, Peskov. So I declared on Peskov, Lithuania was allied to them, and that's the way I managed to get into a war with just Lithuania. Um, because Pliskov, they, they really don't count. Well, this is taking an obscene amount of time to load. This is annoying. Um, come on. Alright, so. As you can see, we took... Siblis from them. We've taken Pskov and Ostrov. Um, and we also took Zem Zemijiv and Svlv from uh, Lithuania. So it is going better, but now that Pskov does not exist, getting to war with just Lithuania on its own is like almost impossible. I do have Denmark as an ally, I have Moldavia as an ally. Um, Novgorod were my ally, but uh, Lithuania went to war with them and broke their alliance with me, which kind of sucked. Um, getting into the HRE, I think, is probably impossible at this point. Um, you needed like 156 opinion with Bohemia to join, and Without a royal marriage, sorry, yeah, without a royal marriage, without an alliance, you can only get to roughly 135. Um, and you can never get an alliance with them unless you have the same dynasty, and when you are a theocracy, you cannot get the same dynasty. You also cannot get a royal marriage because, again, theocracy, or bishopric in this case, which is a theocracy. Yeah, so, um, I don't know, I don't know. The only thing I'm thinking of right now is expanding into Novgorod, uh, going down this way, and then kind of like hugging back in on Poland Lithuania. The thing is, it's on a, it's basically on a, on a, a time scale right now. It's a ticking clock because sooner or later Poland will get their um, Commonwealth personal union over Lithuania. When that happens, you're kind of boned. Um, they're just far too strong together. You can't you can't deal with them both at the same time. Uh, I mean, you have forts in Kelno, Galindi, and Suvalkia. Suvalkia, there we go. So you can hold them off for a little while, but when they just pour in 20k troops onto one of these, like, what really are you gonna do? Um, but we're gonna we're gonna keep trying. Um, it may not work out and we may lose and that's just a, a part of the game i guess it it is a lot more fun i don't know if fun is the right word it's a lot more engaging losing in this mod than it is in uh in vanilla um because you always feel even right up to the last moment that you can sort of turn around like just one one war going my way um the only issue here is a bad war can really fuck you, like, horrifically badly. Um, let's play. Like, yeah, we lost Zimgale, 
So now we're uh, we're not cut off from the rest of our land, but yeah, we needed Zimitia to really make use of uh, our vassal because you know they don't use boats because AI. I don't know. But we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying. There's no reason not to. Uh, we're what 854 men in the hole. Um. I want my money back, because that's... I realized that it's a really stupid idea to, for us to take this land. Um, we're just going to grant it to our vassal. And you also are going to get... Grant Province uh, Ostrov. There we go. Um... Mostly because we're going to get really garbage communication efficiency. There's no way we can, like, get any communication efficiency up here just yet. Not with the current level of tech, not with the current level of buildings, not with the current level of anything, really. Um, so it's better off just giving it to Lithuania. Their communication efficiency shouldn't be too bad with their capital in Riga. Um, of course, they're going to have to build roads if we're ever going to get the economy for that. I don't see that happening. Fucking 2,000 men, zero manpower. If I was Poland, I would jump the fuck on me right away, because, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm boned. Uh, I am going to promote Ostleizung, get a bit more uh, population. Where's our population right now? 53. Ugh, not good. Um, we're going to improve relations, that's never going to happen. Um, let's see what we're at. We need 145. I can see us getting it to 135. So if we look at this, uh, we are... Enemy of enemy is plus 20, actually. I, that wasn't the case in my game. You know what, maybe, maybe, maybe... That would mean it'd go to, what, 155? No, it'd be 150, actually. Right, we're actually gonna keep trying. Um, these are both fucking garbage. The in, in, the, in the single player one that I was doing, I was keeping up in tech with military. I was keeping up in tech in Diplo. And I was just lagging behind in admin, which seems to be fairly similar here. Um, I'm not really sure how that happened, how that came to be, but it did. So you're allied with just Muscovy. You are not allied with anybody. You're not allied with anybody? Poland isn't allied with anybody. Poland's not allied with Lithuania. Ooh. Ooh, I smell an opportunity, or I would have smelled an opportunity if I had even the most basic amount of manpower. But yeah, giving giving these provinces away, we were never going to get any real benefit from them. And, like, despite there being quite a lot of infrastructure here, the autonomy would just be insane. We'd get no money, we'd get no manpower, and again, nothing. So it's better to give it to Livonian Order, and then when we integrate them, eventually, we'll get some use from it then. Uh, having our vassal strong is probably going to be a good idea. Um, I had a I had a point that I was going to make, uh, but I've forgotten what it was. So fuck it, who cares? I also had suggested to me that uh, I should have used my boats with uh, allow allies to board, except I have never, never seen this function ever. It's I, I don't even think it, it, it's possible to function properly, it's just no. Just no. Uh, we had a truce with the Palatinate for some reason, I have no idea why. Who we allied with here? Um, just Scandinavia. Uh, can we get any more alliances? I would really like some. We could get one with fucking Friuli. Nope. 
I love them with Hungary, but they are a junior partner of Bohemia. That's interesting. In, uh, in my other game, they were junior partner to Austria. White Horde would also be a fairly decent alliance. Um, they have rivaled Lithuania, after all. Uh, but... Hordes and Altaic monarchies cannot enter into alliances. Okay. Didn't know that. Good to know. Novgorod is a possible alliance. Um, they allied me in my last game. Oh, in my single player game. Uh, it's kind of iffy. It's like... Scandinavia would be a great ally against Novgorod. Um, and we could pretty much go into here unmolested. Um, I don't see Novgorod having a huge amount of troops because, yeah, while they've got... Well, their the name is big and it looks scary, the land is trash. Um, only really serve, serve this one. Uh, Rus is any good. Alright, um, I wish these events would tell you if it went up or down. I always have to keep checking my uh, state. Uh, this is education. So it's been going up, so yes, that's good. Our corruption is growing, that's fine, I don't care right now. The nobles are disloyal, that's not good. That's increasing the autonomy of all of my provinces. Um, we have a, a new thing here. I think I'm going to go with economic. Um, getting more money, because money is incredibly important in this mod. More so than monarch points, I would say. I would, I would buy money with monarch points in this mod. Which is what it should be. Because the monarch points are magic fucking fantasy bullshit. But how are we going to turn this around? That is the million dollar question. Firstly, we do not need this much uh, maintenance. That's irrelevant. We don't need that. Um, first we bump it up a tiny bit just to get that reinforced, but gaining 73 a month. Like, the mod has made manpower so much more important so much easier to lose and on top of all of that they've made it slower to come back it's uh it's basically a double whammy really all right <laughs> as i said i'm paying more points for money also getting an inflation uh idea from here where is it oh there was an inflation thing well i suppose there's reduced inflation cost was there not an uh, inflation over time thing here? I guess there is not. Okay, fair enough. Does economy... it goes into engineering. I suppose at some point we can see what that is. What is our mission right now? Improve relations with Kamin. You're at 82, we can totally get that up. Greater Nobles, I know you don't like me, but can I have some manpower maybe, please? Nope, I thought not, all right. How about the Lesser Nobles? You will give me none. Burgers, you're quite happy with me. I'll take this. Uh, urban gravity modifier plus 25%. I like that. That's that's why you take that modifier. Get your cities big. So Danzig at the moment is 4 pop 2 urban. Uh, I think when I have the money, what I'm going to do, first thing, is build myself the first level of town development. Um, I should have done this a long time ago. This should have been like the first thing I did in the game is get the commune hall. Um, it's basically the the starting point for your urban growth. Uh, after You can't, say, have a local university until you have a town hall. You can't have 
fucking anything really. It's uh, it's just a really, really powerful building. Alright, Force Heretics Convert, no. I don't want to do any of this. I mean, I might switch to a Theocracy. I always forget, what, what are the differences? Monastic Order versus... I mean, I don't really see many differences. The autonomy change, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna stay as I am. Alright, Bohemia, you are now at 150. Please. Please. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Only part of the... Historically part of the medieval kingdoms of Germania, Lothringia, and Italia. See, that didn't pop up before, did it? So that means the uh, the HRE is not going to massively expand. I mean, Lothringia is like here. Germania, Italia. That's annoying. I wouldn't even say Bohemia is in Germania, so whatever. Oh, all that fucking effort. Okay, so it is literally impossible to put Teutonic Order into the HRE. Doesn't matter that our culture is literally German. Oppression is part of the, the German group. Alright, fair enough. Like, if that's the way that it wants to be, then fine. Uh, claim a province. Vassalize Kamin. If I try and vassalize Kamin, Bohemia is going to be coming in here, telling me to shut the fuck up and get out. I'm going to go with this because eventually I will have my army up to snuff, and having morale, manpower recovery speed, and army tradition would be real fucking nice. I mean, we're eventually going to get six, six troops, eventually. I don't know how we lost the Cav. That kind of sucks. When does our truce run out? 87, so I've got three years here and three years here. Fucking great. Or did I choose the same guy? Nope, four years there. Okay. Nope, now it's three years. Whatever. Honestly, I think as soon as this truce is up, they're just gonna come and curb stone me. I mean, that is what I would do if I was them. Let's see if we can sell the galley. You do not want it because no use for galleys, except the fact that you're in the bucket and whatever. Uh, you like me. Do you want a galley? Ten ducats. Oof. Do you want a galley? Nope. Uh, do you want a galley? You'll give me 20. Alright. Pause the game so it doesn't lag a, uh, while I do this. Uh, do you want a galley? 20. Lubeck, do you want a galley? 20. Holstein? Nope. Who did I miss? I missed Stettin. 20. Okay, so it seems like just 20 is the max I'm gonna get. I'll ask Novgorod just a moment first. Nope. Alright, 20 it is. Uh, and I choose the one guy that wasn't gonna give me any. I mean, yes, you can. The, the galleys are. You buy them for 25, but I didn't actually buy that one. So, two available diplomats. We can improve relations with Austria and the White Horde. The reason getting this province was so important in my uh, in my previous game is like, firstly, it's a fort, and it's in a pretty good location. Um, 
there's river crossings at like most of the angles you can get to it and uh, yeah just shoring up that this border with Lithuania is like just so crucial these two provinces as well like I'd love to get Zimgali back but Zimij is important just so I can link myself to my vassal uh, speaking of my vassal is there anything I can do with him right now meet with him nothing for the moment all right well I'm gonna leave this episode here um, let me know in the comments what you think I should do um, I'm fairly sure in a couple of years Poland and Lithuania are gonna come knocking and slap the piss out of me um, that's interesting Bohemia has taken a province from Poland hmm. okay yeah so uh, let, let me know what you think I should do uh, if they beat the crap out of me, should I restart as Teutonic Order again? Or should I try someone else? Let me know. See you next time.